Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back to another episode of Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Um, well, in today's video, uh, we're going to have a little look at how we disable um, Hyper-V uh, in Windows 11. Uh, but this is also applicable to Windows 10 as well. Um, and um, we've been looking at um, VMware Workstation Pro 17.6 uh, in our current uh, mini series. And uh, we've covered a few parts from part one to part seven. Uh, I've showed you how to install Ubuntu, uh, Fedora, CentOS, Kali, uh, and the VMware vSphere Hypervisor ESXi 8.03 uh, on VMware Workstation Pro using the official ISO. And I've also showed you how to install VMware vSphere Hypervisor 8.03 using the OVA, which is still available uh, to download, which is highlighted in part six and part seven. Um, so today, what I wanted to cover um, on VMware Workstation Pro, and uh, the keen eye amongst you would have noticed this uh, when I was in probably installing ESXi 8 um, under the hypervisor, that I actually basically mentioned to you that if you've got Hyper-V enabled or you're using WSL2, um, if you want to pass through Intel VT, um, which is the magic function that you need to support virtualization within your virtual machine. So effectively it's nested. Uh, you need to enable the virtualize Intel VT dash X slash EPT or AMD dash V. AMD dash V is the sort of kind of same virtualization feature under an AMD chip uh, compared to Intel VT. Um, so if I actually basically turn on Intel VT and I click OK and I power up our Ubuntu virtual machine, uh, we're still going to get this message about the um, side channel mitigations enabled, etc., which is the security issue. And I'm not going to worry about that too much. We've seen that before and I'm going to click OK. Um, but we will also basically now get a pop up that says virtualized Intel VT is not supported on this platform. Uh, continue without virtualization. I'm going to say no. And it'll fail to start the virtual machine. Well, the reason why it can't start um, Intel VT or it can't it can't pass through the Intel VT function uh, to the virtual machine um, is that you could look at it and think of it as the fact that because we've got Hyper-V uh, already on this uh, machine and I can I demonstrated this before that I'm actually basically running WSL2 and uh, WSL2 has a requirement for Hyper-V and uh, we're running Ubuntu here in, in Windows 11. And that's because uh, WS, that's because Hyper-V is currently enabled. So this video is all about really how do we actually basically disable um, Hyper-V. Um, so quite simply, um, I'm going to run a terminal or a command box as administrator. Uh, yes, I want to run that. And then I'm going to run the following command. I'm going to run a BC edit space forward slash set hypervisor launch type space off. Just like that. The command completed successfully. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to restart um, this physical host, this Windows 11 server. Windows 11 desktop rather um, and I'm going to see if I can start up that Ubuntu machine again so I'm just going to put this on pause we're going to restart the um, the machine if that's booting uh, I'll just basically waffle on um, so the main reason that we actually want to disable um, Hyper-V slash WSL2 is because I actually basically want to pass that Intel VT function um, into our Ubuntu virtual machine um, I'm going to increase the number of cores on that virtual machine. I'm going to enable Intel VT. I'm also going to increase the memory. And the reason I'm going to do that is for the next video, I'm going to show you how we install um, VMware Workstation Pro 17.6, the Linux version on Ubuntu 2404, running inside VMware Workstation Pro, running on Windows 11. 
um i don't have an easy i don't have a a bare metal machine here at the moment in the lab uh, that's easy to demonstrate the installation of uh, vmware workstation pro 17.6 and again i've been looking at the searches against the channel and some of the comments and some of those comments were uh, can you show me how you install vmware workstation pro 17.6 on linux uh, so i thought this would be an opportunity to show you how to disable hyper v uh, on a windows machine um, so that we can get intel vt pass through into the virtual machine uh, and then we can install uh, vmware workstation pro 17.6 um, so the next video uh, will be how we install um, vmware workstation pro 17.6 on linux which in this particular case would be ubuntu so sometime later that day uh, it would appear that when i actually basically restarted the machine it also wanted to do uh, microsoft patch tuesday updates but anyway so we've got there eventually uh, so uh, we have now disabled uh, hyper v um, and the reason why that we wanted to disable hyper v is because we wanted to pass through uh, virtualize intel vt-x um, or amd-v uh, into the virtual machine um, and because this is the virtual machine that we're going to use for vmware workstation pro 17.6 for linux um, i'm going to up uh, the number of cores uh, so i'm going to give it a number of cores i'm going to give it four cores and we want to also basically update upgrade the memory as well uh, so we'll give it 16 gig and we'll give it four cores um we've got a 20 gig disc so that's not really going to um, fare well um, because of course we require storage but i'm not going to change that for the moment uh, we'll have a little look at what space we've got available um, we don't need that booted we're going to carry on using that and i'm going to click ok but what i actually wanted to show you really and the whole reason for doing this video um is the fact that when we now power on this virtual machine we no longer get any error message about intel vt not being available so now our ubuntu virtual machine will have intel vt pass to it which is one of the requirements for us to install um, vmware workstation pro 17.6 uh, for linux there's just one thing that i'm going to do before this video is completed again i'm going to just going to do sudo dash apt update basically just to check that there are any security and critical updates that we need to apply uh, before um, we download and install vmware workstation pro 17.6 and it would help if i can spell like always you know there are a few updates that need applying so we'll apply them uh, we'll apply so i'm just going to basically remove updates that i don't need by basically specifying auto remove we'll remove those updates and then i will restart the virtual machine and that's all i'm going to cover in this video so in the next video uh please come back and watch how we install vmware workstation pro 17.6 for linux and this is applicable to a bare metal machine but it's also applicable as well if you want to install it in vmware workstation pro which is hosted on windows 11. so once again thanks so much for watching this video if you like this video then please thumbs up if you don't like this video then please thumbs down uh, but don't forget to subscribe and uh, once again uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, and goodbye